So let's talk about what you developed, uh, the virtual reality. How did you get the idea to, to combine uh, vision therapy into virtual reality? And Tawana, I assume you're the one that, that invented yeah. it? So here's a guy that had convergence insufficiency, maybe had a few learning problems and some, some sports problems because of your own eye disorder. And you in, invented this new way of doing eye exercises that are fun using virtual, virtual reality that children love. So are you a big gamer? Why did you develop this? I, I was a big gamer, but I was inspired by the patients that I was working with. One of the difficulties that we had was keeping patients engaged in the task and then also challenging them while we were doing the treatment. Many of, of your patients who's doing vision therapy are young children and they're used to having phones and games and tablets. And when you show them a static image and ask them to look at it for a few minutes, they easily get bored. And our experience is that if engagement is poor, the therapy is not going to progress as efficiently as possible. And so around 2012, what started occurring was the VR has that became available or in beta testing to consumers. And I thought, what if we start to gamify this? What if we took concepts from vision therapy, incorporate into fun, interactive games that's not just using static images, and the patient wouldn't even realize that they're doing vision therapy while playing video games. And that's kind of how we got started. So we're taking kids with learning problems that are related to the eye, and we're making it fun. Uh, Brian, explain a little bit more about that. So this is actually, there's a scientific component to this also. At its core, rehabilitation, specifically vision rehabilitation, is this concept called perceptual learning. And if we take learning, just break it down, what is learning? Learning is repeating a task again and again until you get better and better and better at it. So perceptual learning is focused more on the rehabilitative, you had a skill and you lost it, or the habilitative, you're learning a new skill, both of those concepts together. And this is common to physical therapy, occupational therapy, vision therapy. Now specific to vision therapy, it's now teaching a patient by repeating a skill again and again and again that becomes slightly harder each time until they develop the neural connections, the brain connections, to learn how to repeat that skill very, very easily. And for us, for what we're doing in vision therapy as a whole, it's eye teaming, it's changing focusing back and forth. It's forcing the eyes to converge and diverge very rapidly. That's the skill set that we're really working and teaching a patient how to perform. And when you gamify this and you make that skill something really fun and have a challenge and a goal to it, now repeating that skill again and again forces the patient or the game player in this case to actively participate in what they're doing. So now I have a really big goal. Instead of looking at a series of beads on a string and converging my eyes and diverging my eyes, now I'm playing table tennis. And my goal is to break some bricks while I'm playing this or pop bubbles or what have you. And there's now a score component that's, uh, that's built into this. So you get this whole perceptual learning concept and you add motivation to it. And it's really easy to motivate someone when there's a score, when there's a game component to this, especially with kids.